Thanks for joining us for 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. As we come on the air tonight, we have a new update from the National Hurricane Center about Tropical Storm Ian. We are going to send it right over to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Bobby, you've been keeping us updated all night. What do we know now? Yeah, uh, Tyler Moore and I have been watching this for you. The, the 11 p.m. update just came in. Ian's strengthening a little bit. It may look a little bit better to you here as well, too. The shear that's been on the backside of this is, is lightening up and more than anything else, the storm is actually moving away from that shear. So we do expect it to strengthen just a little bit. Winds now are at 50 miles per hour. It's moving to the west at 13 miles per hour, which is good. We still, we don't want a northerly component. The more northerly, the sooner, the closer it could get to us. So that's actually pretty good, but it is forecast to turn to the west northwest. And I gotta tell you guys, this thing is forecast to really intensify. In fact, we're thinking rapid intensification tomorrow night into Monday, which means more than 30 knots of improvement in 24 hours. Uh, you can see the convection that fired up here, now some to the north of the center and some to the south as well. So the, the system is starting to organize a little bit better. This is the very latest track from the Hurricane Center. Tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours, 80 mile per hour hurricane. Ian, okay, that's tomorrow evening. Monday morning, 100 mile per hour, 115 by Monday afternoon. Tuesday morning, as it goes across the western tip of Cuba, 130 mile per hour winds, and then it continues to strengthen as it comes across the Florida Straits into the Gulf of Mexico, 140 mile per hour winds. Now, closer to us, I should let you know, this track was about here with the latest update, with the last update. The latest update has shifted just a little bit towards the west. Even if this were to happen, it's still a storm surge issue for us. And keep in mind, the center can still go anywhere inside of that cone. That's just the error over the last uh, several years. Here are the forecast models. Uh, th they are trending a little bit to the west, but these last couple are coming in and looking like it's, tr it's somewhere in between here. The Europeans over here, the GFS is on the opposite side. So we still, days four and five, which is basically Tuesday and Wednesday, we still have a spread, a pretty good spread in the forecast models. Here's a look at some of the timing, okay? So this is the best chance for tropical storm force winds right there in the center. They would get to the Tampa area Wednesday morning around 8 a.m. So we're thinking Wednesday, certainly Wednesday, obviously, Wednesday night and Thursday is when we would have to deal with this the most. This is the forecast, kind of give you an idea of the timing and the winds. The European model is stronger than what the GFS is. And I'm going to go through some of these models here coming up for you in just a little bit. Plus, Tyler's going to have the local forecast for your Sunday. I know a lot of you will be making, prepare, uh, making plans and getting your preps ready to go for Sunday afternoon. And we'll let you know what that weather looks like.